Good morning, everybody. It is about, it's just before seven. Well, I'm gonna go practice today with the kids at uh, Twisted. And I spent a lot of last night trying to get my throttle. I got my throttle uh, tube on and I got the new throttle housing, but it was still sticking. I was like, what the heck? And although it was a smoother stick, it was still sticking. And I didn't find out until I put the, the, um, the gas tank back in. And so I put the gas tank back in and it just pushed on the cables enough to where they would just start sticking again. So it was driving me crazy. So I pulled them out, pulled everything down, ended up uh, taking the cables out. And then uh, I just ended up spraying some PB Blaster into them and then used some compressed air, got them all cleaned up, and then... Uh, Sprayed some uh, carburetor clutch cleaner down there get, to rinse all the PB blaster out, and then I used some silicone spray. And then I put that in there real good, made sure it came out the other end with compressed air, blah, blah, blah. Let it sit overnight, and then put it all back together, and it's perfect. It's like brand spanking new. So I think I'm going to get throttle cables either way. Um, that way I just don't have to deal with it. And then I'll just, I haven't cleaned these ones since last year when I got the bike. So that was clearly part of the issue. But today, what we're gonna do is I have a brand spanking new front sprocket and rear sprocket by JT, and then I got a brand spanking new chain as well. I got some Magnum front brakes, so we're gonna put all that stuff on now before I go to the track. But if you guys aren't subscribed to the channel, make sure you subscribe by hitting the subscribe button and the alert bell, that way you're notified of future updates. You can come on back, check out what we got going on. We're always fixing a ride, like I'm telling you. And uh, don't forget to smash that like button. Always appreciate that. You guys are doing awesome. Really appreciate you guys coming back. Um, I kind of like a little bit more interaction in the comments section if you guys don't mind. If you have any questions about the stuff that I do, let me know. So, all right, guys, let's get into it. Okay, so as you can see, I've already started into it. Um, you just undo these two bolts right here, and that will pop off your front chain guard. And then uh, you just remove your axle, loosen up your chain tensioner bolts. And then we're going to pop the tire off and from there, or I'm sorry, pop the rear rim off. And then from there, we're going to pop off the, uh, the rear sprocket, the front sprocket. And then we're going to have to measure our chain links to length and then uh, make our new chain and then we'll put it all together. All right, so I already pulled my axle out. Uh, the next step, I was loosening up my chain tensioners. Move this forward, pop the old chain off, and then get this tire off of here. This round. And then to do that, all you gotta do is just pull back on your brake caliper, and it'll slide out of the slot in the swing arm. Okay, so now that we got our rim off, we're going to remove this old sprocket. And it should be a 9 or a 14 millimeter on the bottom, and then maybe like a 5 millimeter on top. 14 millimeter open box wrench, and then a socket head. All right, so it's actually a 6 millimeter. Let's try and break it, break it loose on the back first. I got all these uh, nuts and bolts, or at least the nuts. I'm sorry, at least the bolts, so... There we go. All right. Now, I should actually be able to use... Oh, we got a different size one here. There we go. All right, so there's all the old ones. And you can see, so this is the forward direction. You can see how they're pointing forward, like they're hooking forward from the torque. So I saw that and my chain started to loosen up more. 
because I'm riding harder. And so, uh, yeah, I figured, you know what? Be a good time to get this done. One of my buddies, John, his bike, his chain busted at a race. I mean, obviously his chain was busted, but it's, yeah, there was a lot of things that were pretty uh, mangled up. So you can see there's some pretty good grind marks. So we're done with that one. Here's the new one. This is a JTR 210 51SC. JT sprockets. So I'm going to clean this surface up a little. Probably doesn't really need a whole lot, but may as well. Here we go. Got a brand new set of bolts. All individually wrapped, evidently. <laughs> All right. I don't know, guys. What do you think? I might uh, pop these rims apart and powder coat these rims black i'd like to go with the hub with that uh transparent candy red as well but it's always something i could do later i really like the black look on the rims really dresses up one of these older bikes all right there's that I don't know if these bolts are going to stretch or what. Feels good. Okay, so at this point we're going to go ahead and put our rim back on. First thing you want to do is take your brake caliper, put that on there. And then you might have to use a screwdriver to compress your brake pads. Just be gentle with it. Constant pressure and it'll compress back in. If you haven't already done it, now would be a good time to clean up your axle bolt and then wipe any of these pieces down as they're bound to have grime and grit the grime and grit is what grinds your stuff to well you can figure the rest out <laughs> get our axle started Then you're going to want to clean the same for the other side, clean all this stuff up. Got a washer as well. 
You need your bolt or your nut, I'm sorry. And yes, I do have the fan on as usual. So this is my first time putting a chain on. I don't know what the rule of thumb is for setting the length, but I guess I could just set it to whatever this one was. So I'm gonna scoot these all the way back up in here. I don't even know if I need to need this much room, but. All right, so we have a master link here. And that actually feels pretty good on there, but there's the old one. So she seems to have quite a bit of flex. All right, so the next couple things here. I'm gonna take this off. I put this in first gear and then I'm just going to uh, give that a couple little tugs. So I got a new chain slider as well. Gonna go ahead and put that on. All right, this seems to be giving a little bit of a problem here. So I'm gonna have to tip the bike on its side and hit that with a impact driver. Now one thing it's another, right? Hmm. That didn't help, <laughs> did it? Wow, guys, this sucker is in there. All right, well, it's off, so. All right, so we're just gonna clean this area up here.
All right, so I got a new Poly Sport chain guard or swing arm guard. I'm gonna try and find a new one of these. This thing's destroyed. So I'm gonna clean this hole out. And I found a nice, good condition, used one. All right, there's that. Now I got my GAT front sprocket. It's all steel as well. That's why you replace your sprockets when you replace your chain. You want to make sure that you put your pressure washer to where it says outside, facing out. All right, let's stand the bike back up, get this chain measured out. All right, so all I did is I counted the, I counted these outside links. On my old chain, I got 56. And then uh, I just, on this link that I ground out here, uh, that I removed, I just ground the top of the head, or the stud, and then I, clinched this side outside so all these from here over there was like four or five of them I ended up clinching just the outside parts on the bottom in a vise and then just took a punch and hammered that out came out in a couple pops
then you always want to put your your lock to where the gap is facing back when it's moving this way so whatever direction it's moving in you don't want the gap facing that direction you want the gap facing away there you go yeah buddy so we only need to go out a little bit probably have to tighten it up after today feels good to me we've just passed the first notch all right so I'm not sure if you know you guys can see this pretty good Okay, so when you tighten up a chain, you want three fingers right next to the tread. I'm gonna be able to fit three fingers in there. It's actually a little loose. Then you just take a 10 millimeter to adjust it and then use a 12 millimeter to lock it. And you don't have to crank these down. The other side, I could barely get off when I first did it. So the lines where the edge of these, each one of these embossments are lines up. So that's what we'll do on the other side. Then we'll take a rag, we'll stick it up here, and that will help us tighten up the chain while we tighten up the axle. These axles on these Hondas get tightened up to 96 foot-pounds. Oh, all right, folks, that is it. Last thing to do, go ahead and pop our chain guard on up here. She looks amazing. So we'll get our guard on here. That is it. All right guys, that is it. I didn't have time to put the brakes on, not a big deal. I could probably still get a couple more, like a couple more weekends out of them. 
at least one, so it's not a big deal. But got the chain on, uh, got both sprockets, got it all set up, we're ready to go. We're about to go to the track right now. We're gonna go feed some dirt to our dirt bikes. So we just fix this thing so we can ride it. Fixing a ride, baby, that's what I'm talking about. All right, guys, if you like what you saw and you're not subscribed to the channel, hit the subscribe button and the alert bell. That we come on back, check out what we got going on. Like I said, we're always doing something here. So don't forget to smash the like button. I always appreciate that. Thanks for coming by watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it, like I said. So come on back. We'll see you in the next video. Take care, and God bless.